Hi guys, welcome back to Roasted Studios and thank you so much for joining me today for Spreaker. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Now I wanted to give some more commentary today about the riots that happened this past week at the United States Capitol building. Arnold Schwarzenegger, I don't know if you've seen his new video, at this point he's chalked up these rioters to being reminiscent that of Nazis. Now I want to talk a little bit about this. Protesting and protest are imperative to our democracy, but confusing violence as an acceptable means of protesting one's beliefs, that's proved to be a dangerous and deadly proposition. Now, you know, before we got into all this violence that happened at the Capitol, there was this beautiful image of everybody that was protesting together, peacefully assembled outside. And it actually made a really beautiful picture because that is a picture of democracy. Now, when things started getting chaotic and broke out to being violent and abusive and people started getting murdered and hurt, that's not democracy anymore at that point. It's just blatant violence. So we need to know that distinction and that difference. We had democracy to begin with, with people being there and being there peacefully. But after that stopped, then we don't have democracy anymore. It erupted to utter chaos and violence in hopes of stomping on our democratic process. Now, remember, Donald Trump was supposed to be your public servant, not your God, not your owner, not your parent. He was supposed to be an elected representative and leader, but you can't lead anyone if you're leading your people in the wrong direction. One big fault that Donald Trump has is his ego. It's really big. It's monstrous. It's huge. He has high narcissistic traits. He's never wrong, and he doesn't like to be wrong, and he doesn't like to be in control, and he doesn't want you to think that he's not as great as what he really is. And that goes for any narcissist or person with high narcissistic traits. These traits that he has as a person and a person that was our president, they carried over into this election as he was not able to accept defeat, which is really dangerous when having a democratic process that is going smoothly and correctly. The love of your country should always come before the love of your president. And if your president is making you think otherwise, then he's leading you in the wrong direction. Your country comes before your president. Your democracy comes before your president. If you're convinced that your president is more important than your own democracy, then you're a puppet at that point. Because you're serving the needs and wants and hopes of another person in this case, your president, who doesn't care about you because it's all about him. These people are serving a false idol, a false belief. This person was being, this person was using you to fill up his narcissistic supply. And Donald Trump also had a narcissistic injury just this week when his Twitter was taken away and banned. And somebody that is in his camp stated that he went ballistic. That's beyond anger. Going ballistic is a very specific word that was used there. It's the equivalent of having a bottle taken away from a baby as he went through narcissistic rage, not only for having lost his presidency, but also for having his Twitter taken away, for having his voice taken away, his very important voice that needs to be heard. So much to the fact he wants to create his own platform now to have it be heard somewhere else because it's so important to him. Now, and to anyone who's following him thinking that this, these behaviors are okay, including not accepting responsibility for having lost an election, that's huge. If you lose a game when you're a child, let's say basketball, for instance, you go and you thank the opposite team for playing and you have you know, a uh, positive attitude. There should never be any poor sportsmanship at all. And when that carries out to you being an adult who has power, you're not always going to be doing the right thing. 
this was a fair election. And Trump has people thinking it's not a fair election. It wasn't a fair election. And that he's so important that you should actually murder people over or destroy property or carry a Confederate flag into the Capitol. Now we have flying monkeys, in a sense, and abusive third parties doing the wrong thing for the wrong reasons, for the wrong person, for a president who loves that you support him more than your country. And more than the beliefs that you should hold for yourself, that everything be fair, and he's not acting fair in a fair manner, and the, these rioters weren't acting in a fair manner either. Not everyone is thrilled about Biden having gotten elected, but you accept the results because that's democracy. It isn't always about getting what you want. It's about us all being heard collectively, not just one group who's willing to be violent, take it to the next level, willing to do anything to be heard, including hurting other people or murdering other people. These are just some ideas that I have. I want you guys to let me know in the comments section what you think of today's Spreaker. What do you think of all these events that are coming to light? I know there's another um, Capitol Police officer that has now died. He committed suicide. We're going to be talking about that in a new video. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments section. There was another Capitol Police officer that was um, murdered. He got hit in the head and he, he died. And there's a, a woman, a protester there that was shot in the chest. Do things need to lead to violence in order for us to be heard? Because don't forget that picture that I was talking about of everybody in the very beginning of this riot, this picture of democracy, of people standing together, that image is much stronger than any violence you could perpetrate on anybody. And please don't let anybody make you think that violence and that level of violence is okay. It's not okay towards any group. It's not okay, okay towards anybody. It's not okay towards anybody. Okay, let me know what you think in the comments section. Take care. All my love. Please share, like, and subscribe. Roasted Studios, out.